What's up, everybody? Cats007, and today I bring you guys some sculptor gameplay. And in this gameplay, you know, just testing out my build. If you saw my old video, well, the recent one, I saw I was gonna post another video regarding this build, and I love it. So, some common hunter sense. I realized that, you know, that person I respawned that triple is not rotating. So, I'm assuming that since I still have Sinaitis, that you know, they're rotating towards Shaq, and my hypothesis was correct. And the find this here, I push him back with statues. And now the big idea with statues, you know, is always trying to cut off routes. Now look, I was gonna go around the pallet thinking the series is gonna go to Shaq, but because he wanted to loop, I'm like, okay, well this can work. So going around, I see the series going around, so I try cutting him off. He's going around as sculptor, I cut him off, and he uses the owl. So I'm like, okay, well, he's chip hit, right? And as soon as I recover, I have enough time to even statue the uh, Shaq pallet. So look. Even though I'm missing these statues, none of these statues are accurate, you know? It's not like a bonbon, you know what I'm saying? But every time he doubles back, or even the slightest frame to the left, to the right, it slows him down. And that's what you want to focus on. Like I said, same thing with violinist, you know? It doesn't matter that you always hit it. It's the ideology of scaring them. You know what I'm saying? You know, them going back and forth, those slight movements can change the game, you know? Moving back and forth, trying to avoid the statue, doing this and that, you're coming back to the main body. And that's what I need, you know? You're gonna come back to me, and you know, you don't wanna get chip it, but you're gonna end up running to the main body and get clapped anyways, you know what I'm saying? So right now I'm looking around, look, I see, I what I do is, I always wait to see all the cyphers wobbling. So I like the strategy I do here. I see whoever's back here, so I see the prospect, and I'm like, okay. Now, I don't have wanted order, and this is the strategy I do if I don't use wanted order. So I saw the cypher pop around here, here's the batter. So now I saw the other cypher wobbling. So the mercenary is all the way back there, right? So I saw the cypher wobbling over there. Prospect is doing a cypher. So I chiseled one and then I walked to the other one and I saw them all doing one. Hit the batter. And now I'm assuming, hey, the prospector just finished a cypher. Um, so the mercenary uh, hit the batter and I'm going to teleport back to the chair. <laughs> Boop. Hello. And the prospector is right in base. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> so here's a prospector. Gets a really nice stun here. Um, Sierra's so gonna die. Good discipline from the prospect getting out. Uh, chip the prospector here. I am running teleport, and I was two ciphers left because it did not save. But I was putting pressure on everyone at the same time. So if you take a look. The batter's um, injured. The prospector's injured. I have um, full presence. Target statue's ready to go. Um, prospector using the magnets here. I hugged the wall because I had a feeling he was gonna try to like you know push off the stairs or something crazy. But I didn't let that. So I hugged the stairs so I can um, get stunned against it. Uh, vault the window. I'm gonna pick up the prospect and put him on chair. And now, sculptor with full presence is super scary. You know, even if you don't rest, I'm putting pressure no matter what. And oh, you can hear my dog in the background. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. He misses me. But um, I um put the prospector on chair. And right now, I'm like, okay, well, the batter was in this direction, so I'm gonna chisel in that direction. And look around. Well, hello. So now he's going back and forth trying to uh, juke the statues. Good discipline on his behalf. Mercenary is decoding. He's going to have to come for that save. And they did not use Tide yet. They're preserving their Tide. Nobody rescued. You know, I downed the battery here. Now that Mercenary is forced to rescue. I have Sinatis. I'm like, okay, where the heck is he? He comes and just gets the save. I'm like, oh, well, okay. So I made sure I hit the Mercenary so, don't, so he doesn't, like, get another save, you know? So I'd rather, you know, waste time trying to down the prospect of the factory or whatever. You know, I do have um, full presence. So look, I need a statue. One, two. 360, vault the window. You know, do the same thing over again. Make his way towards the window. I try, like, putting a statue, but it also, like, carries him against the wall. <laughs> and he gets down. The batter, he gets up. And the mercenary has to go for save. Remember, the batter went down, so that cypher was not worked on. And I don't have the tension. I don't have the tension at all. So it was good that I downed the batter, stopping the cypher rush. I'm going to go back and chisel him again. And now if I down him, it's basically game over, honestly. So he's over here um, using my target stat to chip him once. I see him running in this and trying to get out of the radius. And I chip him twice and he goes down. That batter is down for the count. He does not have self heal. And it's going to the mercenary coming at the save. I have tinnitus. I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, well, where's the mercenary at? Now it's either mercenary try to clutch dungeon or he can do something. Um, if you notice that um, I do run teleport. Leo's the big map. Tons of run blank. Depends on the team comp. But, um,. Control Freak is a big thing, you know. I kind of went over my builds, but um, see how fast you're dying on chair? It's a big thing, especially if you're going against a team that's Cypher rushing you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking around, looking for Dungeon. I don't see Dungeon at Shaq. <laughs> looking around still. Batter's on chair. Now I'm looking at Dungeon, see if it's a Chris Tree. No, it's not Chris Tree, so I'm like, okay. Uh, the next best place to look. 
is probably gonna be um triple pallet. So I'm waiting for my chisel to come back and looking for tinnitus, throw it on middle, throw my chisel. I see dungeon, okay. Well, where is the uh, mercenary? You know, I'm trying to uh, statue every crevice, every corner, and I don't see him at all, you know, just like, trying to scout him out, but he's not running out at all. So I end up uh, putting a target statue, they explode each other, right? And when they explode each other, I didn't get a notification, but then I got the crows. I'm like, oh, there he is. I get stuck here for a little bit. And I see the Merc in the distance. And right now I'm just gonna go right towards him and just try to down as quick as possible. And that's GG's, you know? Um, Skull through a full presence is super scary. And I love this build. This build is super fun, a lot of pressure. And going for the save, unfortunately, because he's dying so fast, he can't get the save in time. And that mercenary is down for the count. He's gonna die slowly, and that is GG's. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. I love this new sculpture build, and I hope you guys try it out. I love you guys. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.